hotel or for a resort and I was told by someone that in every household people dig this kind of well and then they use it for drinking purpose and every household purpose. We are going to leave Nail Island now. Bye bye Nail Island. Bye bye Shinitri. We'll go to Port Blair by Mecca! After checking in the hotel, we'll explore Port Blair. We have come from Shahid Deep and today we are going to see Chatham Sawmill. Today we have come from Shahid Deep and our first spot in Port Blair for today is Chetham Sawmill. It's a very historical place in Port Blair. Now, uh, Forest Department, they are looking after this place. And as you can see at my back here, this bridge, this bridge, it was built by the British. It's very old during tsunami time. This bridge, it got, you know, destroyed. And now repairing works are going on. Let's see Chatham Sawmill. Chatham Sawmill is looked after by the Forest Department of Andaman and Inside uh, this chamber where the woods are cut into pieces, we are not allowed to enter. But you can see these woods, these are cut into pieces in different, different shapes. And then they are sent to mainland and different parts of this island. During Second World War in 1943, this sawmill got destroyed due to bombing. And then again it got operational in 1946 and even now it's operational and successfully continuing milling. <laughs> bunker we cannot see full of it because it's closed before tourism became the primary source of income for the people of this island timber production was the primary income source for the people of this region but now even though timber production is still on People are more towards tourism and uh, sawmill, it has become like a tourist spot. Before tsunami, the bunker was open to the public and uh, we could go up to the jetty point through this bunker, but now we cannot because during tsunami it got destroyed.
Seahorse. Which one is seahorse? Which one? Starfish. Can a shell? Oh, sandal shell. Kutiula. Mm. Mm. Sandal shell. Clam shell. Mm. Shell or shell? Hmm. Shell. Clam shell. Turbo shell, they are so beautiful in color. See, silver. visiting Chetam Somil and Samudrika Naval Museum, we are in Munda Pahar. This place is more popular as Chiria Tapu on social media and on the internet. But Chiria Tapu is the place, place name. It is, a, it is the village. Uh, this particular place where people come for sunset, this place is Munda Pahar. And there is very interesting story that I got to know this Munda Pahar, it got its name because of one Munda person. That man was from Rachi and he is to stay here. He was a single person here in this whole hill and he is to stay here. And because of his discovery, this place got its name Munda Pahar. And people come here for seeing sunset. So you know, Chiria Tapu is village name, and this particular sunset point is Munda Pahar. Now we are walking through a trekking route, and to reach to that viewpoint, we need at least 20 minutes. So we are walking first so that if we can come back before sunset. Shivam! The view is amazing. We are walking through jungle. This trekking is reminding me of my day two in Himachal Pradesh. In Dalhousie, the only difference is that this place is a little bit hot, hotter compared to my day two in Dalhousie. Kuch hai kya udhar mein dekhne ke liye? View, na? Shivam. Hi, Shivam. Huh? Yes, coming, coming. Okay, okay, okay. We have to be silent. Making video. <laughs> Shivam, how are you feeling now? Is it a good trek? Um, I'm so happy. Yes. Yes. No, no, no. This is the first time. We have come here for the first time. 
After having this amazing trek, now we are heading back to Sunset Point. Shivam is a strong boy. Shivam, the doggy is still with us. Do you know the name of this doggy? What is the name? What is the name of this doggy? Puppy. Puppy. Does it look like puppy? <laughs> it's a fully grown dog. Uh, uh, descending part is amazing. It took less time to come to the same point where at first I thought this is the point and then remembered it cannot be here. Interior Tapu, you won't see reddish sky when the sun sets. The sun goes behind the hill and that is the magic. Within 5 o'clock you have to leave this complex. I thought the sunset is here, sunset point is here but the actual point is one and a half kilometers away from this place. We are going to the sunset points now. From Port Blair to Chiria Tapu, distance is approximately 20. Chiria Tapu, yeah. Distance is approximately 28 kilometers. Now, 28, yeah. And the road is through National Highway number 4. And now we are going back. Again, we'll start tomorrow. See you.